it's Susan Beasley of chrisandsusanbeasley.com and today I want to share with you how to install the Google Plus One button. Now you may be asking what is it? Well think of the Facebook like button and you come up with Google's equivalent and I think you'll find it's going to be used much more in the future so you might as well get used to using it right now while it is still in development and have people share your content across Google as well as they will do by hitting the like button on Facebook so I'm going to take you over to the computer now and I'm going to show you how you install the Google plus one button I'll see you in a moment well, as I said earlier, Google have launched the plus one button for your website and this is how you go and get it. You go to google.com forward slash webmasters forward slash plus one and that's the number one forward slash button forward slash index dot html and this is what you will find when you get there. It's how to create your plus one button. Now I've actually gone through and tested this and the best size is the standard size which is the one I've indicated here. It is only currently available in English and if you want to choose to not display the counter all you have to do is go to advanced options and untick the include the count but I'm going to include the count for the time being. So I'm just going to close that and below here, highlighted in blue, this is the code that you want to take over to your web page or your blog post or any content that you have online that you can share in this way and put this code in there. So for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to show you it added to a blog post on a WordPress blog website. So I'm just going to go over there now in true Blue Peter fashion. This is the blog post that I created earlier and here you can see is the piece of code, the snippet code that I collected from the Google Plus One site and I've pasted it here into the blog post. You'll notice I'm actually in the HTML version of this WordPress blog post. You might find it here under source in your version of WordPress but in any case this is it here um, we've updated that it's all ready to go and I'm just going to show you what it actually looks like when you view it on your website so here we are this is the blog post completed and it just explains just as I have on this video how you actually um, add the plus one button and even though it is still in development in beta at the moment it is really worth starting to use this because it is only going to be a matter of time before everybody is going to be using this so here we go here's just another image that I, I snapped off of, of the web page showing you how to get your plus one account because plus one button because at the end of the day some people like to see it visually and here it is, that code has now appeared as your plus one button and all you need to do is click on that and you are sharing that content on Google. Now the reason why that is really important is because Google for a long time have been very conscious that Facebook are, are, are keeping well ahead of them in publicising social content, social search content. They've got their like button as you know we most of us have got this already on our websites and, and our blog posts and they're very conscious that most of the content that is shared is coming from social media and they want to make sure that they stay ahead of the game and who can blame them at the end of the day. So make sure you go and get your plus one button and start using it right now sharing your content across the across the web and being found in Google search as well as being found um, via sharing your content through Facebook for example. So I hope that was really useful training for you. If you want to go and read this blog post then 
just go to our website chrisandsusanbeasley.com, click on our blog and find the uh, blog post entitled How to Add the Google Plus One button. Or if you would like to leave us a comment below this video, that would be absolutely fantastic. Hope you enjoyed the training. I'll see you again very soon.